Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you a different type of video and I'm really going to need your guys feedback in the comments below. So instead of a gameplay video today, uh, I decided to take some extra time to write up a notes section for entry level crafting for Righteous Fire. Um, now this is not end game like nitty min max crafting. You could technically if you're lucky get some really good end game pieces, but this is more directed towards the people who Kind of like finish their axe want to know what to do next do i have to trade for every piece of gear yes you can absolutely trade for every piece of gear but here is a step-by-step -step guide so that if you don't want to trade for your piece of gear or while you're running your maps um you have kind of like options with what you can do so at the moment this covers helmet amulet ring boots gloves and your weapon it does not currently cover jewel cluster jewel uh, rare shield, rare body armor, and belt crafting. Assuming you're not using a replica soul tether, which I currently am. I think the rare belt would be for uh, pretty much pre-replica uh, or uh, if you go Shadow Stitch variant. So I will update this as I go. I just wanted to kind of like launch this and get this out there so that a lot of the new players who are struggling can kind of understand where they can acquire more damage and just in general more things for their build, right? Uh, so simple step-by-step, -step. I have it by category, so helmet, amulet, ring, boot, you know, like you have here. Uh, I have some affixes highlighted. I do need to highlight more stuff. I think in the end, what I would like to do is even have a key, so like blue equals this, red equals this, but that's way too detailed for me. Right now, we're, I'm just trying to get this, like, set up, right? Um, one thing I would like to note is the, um, some methods in here are talking about harvest. If you guys don't know what harvest is, it's a league mechanic in Path of Exile where you see Oshabi and like this blue grove. So anytime you see Harvest in here, as an example, take a look into uh, take into Harvest and spam Reforge Speed and Reforge Life. These are literal things that pop up in the Harvest plot. So when you kill the monsters, it'll say like Reforge a white magic or rare item with speed, or like Reforge a white magic or rare item with guaranteed speed. That's what all of this means. It basically saves you currency so you don't have to like waste chaos orbs, gambling or alchemy orbs and scour orbs or essences. It's kind of just like something to do um, while you're playing the game. So like an example of what I have is I have this tab over here called harvest. So what I do is if you look, this is my scepter I have, which explains in the guide here. So in the guide here, it says like for your weapon, uh, pre-step info, we're going to craft with a fractured item. This means that one of these six stats is permanently locked in place. Uh, before we start any of the steps, we need to acquire our base. So this has an example right over here. Not only does it have an example, but I also added a, uh, a search link. But remember that you do need to read this because I cannot... The thing is, is if I release a search link, this item is all of a sudden 50 times the value of it. So I gave other examples of what you could get fractured. Some of them are going to be extremely expensive. Some of them are not going to be extremely expensive, right? So here's an example where I have my base. Now I would take it into harvest and I would follow exactly what this says, right? This says, grab your base, throw it in harvest, spam, reforge, fire, etc. Right? Same thing with my boots. I have my two-tone boots. Uh, I have a cluster jewel, which I haven't really covered yet in that. But anyway, you guys, you guys get the general gist. I think everything else on here is pretty self-explanatory, but if I am missing any vital information or things you would like for me to add in or, you know, tips and tricks, please let me know. I will try to update this, and I think that will be kind of like the best way I can kind of formulate my thoughts for crafting. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys are enjoying the build. If you are, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box guys all tomorrow.